So what are the major differences between the SCORE and the Simplex Ultra? Hey, I appreciate y'all watching the video today. Uh, I've got two metal detectors here made by Nocta Detectors, and one is the SCORE, brand new. This thing's brand hammer new, just released late 2023. And then I got the Simplex. Now the Simplex has been out probably a year or so, uh, almost a year, I'd say. Uh, but anyway, these two machines are great metal detectors, uh, but some people wanted to know what's the differences between these two. I did a video on the score and the legend to kind of give you the differences there, uh, but some other people wanted to know the differences between the score and the Simplex Ultra. So in this video, I'm going to explain that, that mainly the control box stuff, right? The menu settings and all that. Um, just to kind of give you a feel of what these machines will do uh, in the menu and the settings and on the control box itself and how they differ. So let's go there now and check that out and I'll show you the differences between these. One thing that everybody keeps asking, especially on the forums, is can these coils go on this detector or this can these detector coils go on the simplex? That is no, you cannot do that. Uh, these these uh, coils are SX and then it has a number beside it. These are SC and has a number beside it. Same thing with the Legend, they are LG. So you cannot swap coils between machines. They're machine specific. But anyway, here's the control boxes of these two detectors. And as you can see, like Nocta always does, they're very, uh, they keep the same things kind of, they're very similar at the top. So here you have a, a park mode, you have a field mode and you have a beach mode. And then on the simplex, you have a field mode, and then you have park mode, and then you also have beach mode. Then you have an all metal mode, which this one does not have, which I mean, it technically does have an all metal mode. You just change your ferris, but it also has a chance or it has a way of changing your tones from four and then 99 tone, and the score does not do that. Yeah, it's a three tone machine, so you know, your iron's gonna be a low low tone then you're gonna have stuff like nickels and pull tabs will be a mid-tone and then you'll have a high tone uh, for your coppers and silver and things of that nature the numbers on the score go from 1 to 60 and the numbers on the simplex go from 1 to 99 all right so we've looked at the modes so over here you have these modes and over here you have these modes and how you change that is left to right on all three or on both machines you change it left to right, just like that. So I've got the sensitivity turned down on these because they're really close together right now. And they don't really like being really close together. They're note the machines and they're brothers, but they don't like each other that well. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, here you can discriminate out. You can actually notch things out. You can notch things out over here as well. Uh, but also you can uh, discriminate out in patterns as well. So uh, I mentioned this on the other video how you can change this to uh, custom, all metal mode, ground discrimination, or ferrous discrimination. And over here, it doesn't have that, um, that ability, uh, but it does have the iron audio down here at the bottom of the simplex. And we'll get into that in a minute when we get to the menu. But over here on the score, you have your I uh, mentioned this on the Legend versus Score video. You have your multi-frequency changes. You can change that from M1 to M2 to M3 and also 15 kilohertz. And over here, this is a 15 kilohertz machine only. It is not multi-frequency, simultaneous multi-frequency. So it has one frequency, runs off one. And honestly, it's it's just as good. I mean, I, I like running the Simplex. It does a great job. All right, so here's your next thing that's very similar. Of course, your numbers show up right here in the middle. That's your VDI. Has your battery level here. It's just going back and forth. Then it has a mineralization bar right here. This is pretty sweet as well. This works really good um, when you're in some really trashy areas or the ground's just real nasty. And uh, it'll start telling you when your mineralization's changing. And when it does that, you need to re-ground balance. Well, you can't even ground balance on this machine right here. So... It auto ground balances when you turn it on. All right, so over here on the left, you have your sensitivity, your gain. And of course, you turn it up. These machines are real close together, so they do that. Same thing with the simplex, it has a little different tone. 
But that's it right there. Leave it down. It does pretty good about 12, I think. Yeah, see? Barely hear it. So it does pretty good. All right, so uh, also another thing we'll look at here. This is your depth gauge, of course. <laughs> There's your depth gauge. I think each one of those is supposed to be one and a half to two inches. And we talked about the menu before. And so the menu on the score, of course, it's the same. It's a very little thing, a few things there. You have your volume, you have your light, you have your Bluetooth, where you can hook up the Bluetooth headphones. Both machines will run off of low latency Bluetooth headphones. Of course, Nokia has theirs. And also, if you're really hot natured, there's other options out there that you can purchase, you know, additional set. Like I like to have additional sets anyway. And uh, I like the I like the ones that go in your ear, the earbuds. They work great. And this right here is your ground suppressor. And we talked about that on the other video. If you want to know more about that, go check out the video between the score and the legend. And also over here, you have a huge menu right here. And uh, we're going to get into that. Of course, you have your ground balance. Here's your ground balance button right there. You can ground balance your detector. Of course, this one you do not ground balance at all. And then, uh, but the one thing you can do on this that you can't do here is you can noise cancel. When you noise cancel, when you turn it on, you hold down this button right here and it noise cancels it for you. As was mentioned on the other video, I'll slide this thing over and you see this little mark here. You go up and you can change this to your vibrate and then also your flashlight. And then just to exit the menu, you hit the old power button. And then over here, let's talk about this menu right here. So a lot of things on this menu. Menu buttons right here, just like it is on the score there's your volume control boom boom and then uh, you have to hit and then go right this right here is your iron settings and your how you can set this machine you want to hear iron you don't want to hear iron and you can uh, do coin mode or whatever this one does have the ground suppressor as well i forgot about this um so that's pretty cool so you can change this just like you can the score and then you move right over here and this is your frequency shift if you're around other machines you can shift this thing over a little bit it'll find just that it'll try to find a sweet spot for you but you got three settings on it and then on down the line you have your recovery speed you can change that recovery speed ever how you want to from one to five i like biting mine about middle of the road and then here's your tone brakes you can change tone brakes which is an excellent feature on the simplex and again you can't do this stuff on the score i think you can do stuff like this on the double score but not the score and so there's your tone breaks where you can change all the tone breaks and how loud you want it and all that stuff and then over here is your bluetooth right so you got your bluetooth setting there and it also has the vibrate your flashlight the reset button and then all of that good stuff there this one right here as you see it didn't highlight it when i moved it over that's because this is for all metal mode. So I'm going to slide it over here to all metal mode. Let's turn this thing down because every time you move your mode over, it changes your sensitivity according to how you had it set up. And so it has a threshold. You hear that threshold in it? You can change that. And so I'm going to slide over here. So this is your threshold here. You don't want to hear that threshold, turn it down. But if you want to hear it, you turn it up, of course. And this works well when you're in all metal mode some people like to hear that noise you know detectors back in the 70s and 80s you heard that noise all the time and sometimes you would hear a, a beat and sometimes you would hear that noise go away and that would let you know that something was under the coil all right so one last thing just looking at these two is this is the same exact control box the same exact size they just changed the guts out to put the multi-frequency in here and then the sequel frequency in this one with the different settings and also another thing is those coils now you see the coil on the right for the simplex is the sx24 love that coil works really good for separating targets and then over here you have the sc28 i'm sorry the sc30 and the sc30 is a stock coil for the score uh, they don't make a sx30 for the simplex as of right now february 2024 but when you buy this machine, it comes with the SX28. Yeah, it's a little bit wider this way and a little bit narrower that way. It's more of a round coil. 
But anyway, that's the two differences between these two machines. And they're great machines, great detectors. I found silver coins with both. I've already found rings with both. And yeah, great, great detectors. And both of them have great depth as well. So, and the price is very, very similar. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Kelly Co's price because they're the ones we affiliate through. I'm gonna put the price right above the score right there. And then right there to score the price for the Simplex. And just go check them out if it's something you're interested in. It's a great uh, second machine, you know, a machine for somebody else. Or you just might want to buy another one because, you know, we're addicted to this hobby, right? All right, so y'all seen all that. Now, I know it's hard sometimes to endure stuff like that because <laughs> it's not, you know, it's not action. This is not action. It's all it's all learning stuff, right? You're learning what a machine will do. And some of you may be, you know, wanting to purchase one or the other. You don't know what they are. You don't know what they do. So, yeah, again, the score, it is simultaneous multi-frequency. The, the, uh, the simplex is not. It's just a single frequency metal detector. And, yeah, there's some advantages with this one. But again, this one here has more settings. This one here, you can do more with this one. So these are very close when it comes to their performance, in my opinion. Again, you're going to have a little better performance on the beach with the score just because of the simultaneous multi-frequency technology that's built into it. But again, don't count it out. Don't count the Simplex Ultra out. If you're not a real big beach hunter and you're not going to spend a lot of time on the beach, like me, I live four and a half hours from the beach. And the closest beach that I have are freshwater beaches. So the Simplex would be is great in those circumstances. So if you live away from the beach and you don't really plan on being at a beach very much, then the Simplex Ultra is just perfect for you. But if you want to spend a whole lot more time on the beach, then the score might be what you want to go after. But anyway, other than that, I just hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was some help for those who was asking. Uh, I'm getting a lot of requests for test this. I want to see this. And so you're going to see a lot more of those. I try to put videos together to help my subscribers, to help the viewers. And I appreciate you guys watching. But anyway, we're hoping to get some more adventures out there very soon. As a matter of fact, uh, we're going to be doing some gold prospecting and stuff. You'll start seeing some of that come back, in, come back around. And you'll start seeing that as well. So it's not all metal detecting. And it's not all gold prospecting. It's more like 60-40 or 65 35 something like that it's kind of like your that's kind of the the percentage of the videos that i put out but anyway hope you enjoyed the video hope you got something out of it hope you have a good day god bless we'll see you next time and always remember to treat other people how you want to be treated